Welcome, honored guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and it is Comment Weekend. So, of course, like we do every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we read the comments that you guys post, discuss them, and go from there. All right, let's get started because we have quite a few this weekend, and I want to get in as many as I can. I do have a busy weekend with the family, but you guys are my family now, too, so we're going to certainly make time for this. All right. Okay. Robin Stewart says Sonny and Carly belong together. Well, maybe that used to be true at this point because things are changing. I think I don't I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm starting to slowly get used to them not being together and the possibility of them not getting back together. But we'll see, Robin, you never know. Uh Mary Newman says I saw Sonny in a lifetime movie playing John Gotti. See what I'm saying? Like I said, he's probably not going to retire from acting just General Hospital. I really just think he's tired of playing the same old role, you know. Um, Paula May says, I never forgot about Morgan, please. I have been asking for them to let Morgan return for a long time. I'm sorry, a long time ago. I agree. Um, don't worry. I wish if I wouldn't get copyright, I would play the hold on, I'm coming. Because he's coming home, and so so are a few of our other favorite um, characters. Not Jason. I haven't heard anything about Jason, but, you know, Morgan is coming home. Just give him a couple of weeks. Uh, Risky Ashdown says, and if Esme is pregnant with the Cassidine child, it could be a royal scandal. It would probably help the ratings. Yes. Um... I think it couldn't hurt the ratings, that's for sure. So, I think she is going to be pregnant. So, one or two things, because we just did the tea theory video right before this one. And the sources are saying that she is going to be held captive by Nicholas and she's supposed to be pregnant. Now, remember, um, in the last tea theory that we did, again, they said she is going to be pregnant, but she's going to be pretending to be pregnant and have amnesia. So, you know... All of this kind of maybe goes together. Maybe she fell. Nicholas found her. She's. I don't know. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But I do believe that she's going to be pregnant. And I know everybody, because I know I've seen it in the comments like so many times. How can she be pregnant? She fell off the parapet. Um, it's the stories. Same way that somebody can get stabbed and pushed off the bridge and drown. And it's the stories. You know, that's why I made that comparison um, with One Life to Live with Vicky, Nikki, Jessica, and Natalie. They can do anything. You know, it's that's what it's about. So, I think she will turn out to be pregnant or something like that just to keep it going. Sandy Moon says, okay, Baroness, you've convinced me Drew and Carly may work if they start a business together. They definitely will start a business together. They're going to rebuild the Haunted Star, and they're going to make a go of it. I don't know how long their relationship will last when Drew finds out that Carly lied about Nina. You know, Drew is a good guy, and he's not going to be too happy about her lying to Willow and Michael and the rest of them about, you know, Nina, Nina being Willow's mom. But they're they're definitely gonna get together and so we will get that romance hopefully it'll last marshall ray says what nina set carly up somewhere to stab her don't doesn't she know if she stabs carly that it'll be all over um with them oh yeah so basically you mean it'll be all over between nina and sunny if she stabs carly no i don't think it was a it's not a setup uh sources are saying that it's just an altercation kind of like how in the last episode that we saw them together they were talking and it got heated you know nina is very sensitive she's very short fused um and carly is too carly has a very short temper as well um sources are saying they're going to get into a fight and maybe they'll be fighting in nina's office i do not know but she's gonna stab carly in like a self-defense mode it's not a setup no she didn't set her up on purpose to do this it will be kind of like a self-defense thing actually but you know we'll have to wait and see but no marshall it's not a setup mm -mm. um <laughs> risky ash down again says no not everybody hates esme really um part two of her comment says besides we need a great villainess and plus there's the issue of who's esme's mother is 
they get rid of Esme and there will be no good storyline, not to mention we need to know who her real father and mother is. Right. I said that as well. Um, we need a villain. Like we had Ava when Ava was on the, you know, she was kind of like the bad guy of the stories. And um, Ava, Ava Jerome and, um, oh, shoot, Olivia Jerome. We had plenty of bad people. Um, even Lucy at one point played like a villainess. So, yes, we do need Esme. And like I said, I think they're going to change her storyline around once, you know, all of this is over with Nicholas and Ava and everything. And she finds out that Felicia is her mom and Mac is her dad, because that's what I think. But yeah, Esme isn't going anywhere anytime soon. She's going to be the bad guy for a while, but they'll, she'll redeem herself because she's, because of who her parents are, you know, and so she'll be embraced by the community and you know how that goes. Mary Newman says, what happened to Sasha? Nothing. It's summertime everywhere, Mary. And I think Sasha is probably in real life taking a break with her new baby because she just had a baby in real life. Like while she was pregnant on the show, she was pregnant in real life. Um, I think she's just taking a break. The last we saw Sasha, she was going through um, jail, you know, trial court uh, because she attacked Smoltz's car. And so really the stories are just making it like Sasha is just dealing with that. The next time we see her, Brando will probably have taken guardianship over her and then we're going to go from there. So that's the storyline about Sasha. So we'll see her soon. Um, not this week coming up, actually, because I did the spoilers for the whole week coming up and Sasha and Brando weren't mentioned. Um, I'll have to go back and double, triple check, but I don't think they were mentioned for next week's episode either. Sasha certainly wasn't. But she'll be back. Don't worry. Robin Anthony says, Drew and Sam snooze. I agree. I agree 100%. Um, it's just Sam, right? Because now that they're trying to pair Drew up with Carly, I'm excited to see, like, because like he said, no more Mr. Nice Guy. He's going to change himself for, not, not for Carly, but just so people can see, like, listen, I'm not night like i'm the marine what are y'all talking about listen <laughs> they, i don't know what they think about drew but i think sometimes valentine and the rest of them forget like who he is and where he came from and what he went through like he is no joke he is not kleenex he is not soft he is gonna go full force and i think him being with carly will bring this out of him versus him being with whispering boring sam i t- totally agree i think they are more boring than gregory and alexis sorry sandy you know at least alexis and gregory shoot at least they bicker and they try to get into some stuff with you know news articles and stuff sam and drew when they're together all they want to whisper about is the kids and aurora and dropping the kids off to monica because i don't even know what the hell they storyline was about to be honest but yes i hope to god they don't put them two back together Lisa Wilde says, I think Maurice slash Sonny is ready to retire within two years. I think he will move away or get killed off because of Nina. That would be a good way to get rid of him, wouldn't it? We'd be sad and mad, but it'll be a good ending. Because Nina is um, as loony as a tune. So, you know, maybe she will go off the rails and hurt Sonny to, you know, no returning. And we can get rid of both of them. Who knows? Um, Connor Hutt. I'm sorry, Connor Houston says, don't know, but thinking he won't go beyond five years could be sooner. Not sure about next year, but no more than five, I think. Who knows? I agree. Between this, yeah, I agree. I don't, he's definitely not going to go um, longer than five years. I think he's going to go to Luke route within the next year or so, next year or so, to where we're going to see him less and less, and they're going to make it like he's out of town on business or you know, something like that. And then as that happens, we'll slowly be able to get a takeover from the Wu clan or whoever is going to take over his territory. But yeah, you're right. Um, I think Maurice will leave next year since next year is the 30th anniversary of GH. That's possible. I certainly see that happening. That would be a good time for him to leave. But yeah, that's definitely a strong possibility within the next couple of years. Um, Sonny will be retiring and we'll get a new takeover um like I said the 30th anniversary DW that's a good that's a good one um Ethel Bradley says just found this some just found 
this some info was good but a lot of it was either incorrect or very old news but i will continue to tune in well thanks for tuning in ethel bradley i'm not exactly sure what was incorrect or old at all but let us know in the comments what you found incorrect and old because we do recaps every day on you know every episode fresh so let me know what you found incorrect and inaccurate and me and lisa and sandy will get right on it but um yeah let me know dear what you talking about all right kathleen rogers says scott karen wexler's father i don't remember anything about that at all me the kathleen i love ken schreiner portraying scotty storyline ended when she and jagger left town on a motorcycle please fill me in if i am wrong thanks i don't think you're wrong at all about that kathleen i do think that lisa um odesta uh nancy nana plays all you guys let us know if that's right um Dang, did Karen Wexler leave town or did she die? Okay, somebody let us know in the comments. I thought she got, she died or something. I don't, you know what, Kathleen? I'm with you on this one. I don't remember either now. But, and yes, I love Scotty too. I think he's a good time on the stories, especially with him and Lisa together. I like him and Lisa. I think they're uh, more fun than when him and Lucy were together. Um, Yeah, somebody let us know that, uh karen leave town with jagger on the motorcycle but that'll make sense won't it because then that's when we kind of got the crossover with jason and all of them so you know kathleen we'll let you know, somebody to help us in the comment section snow white is saying i'm telling you trevor st john would be an awesome jason no he won't just Snow White, where do you come up with these things do you guys remember trevor st john fake todd y'all remember fake todd now listen no shade no tea i love trevor st john when he played on one life to live and i think he's on um what is it uh what is the one that's hourglass soap opera it's, um hell bold and the beautiful or younger one of those that's not general hospital but he's on another stories but you think he would be a good one huh snow white because he's kind of like I don't think he has the physique to be our Jason. Let me know in the comments. Do you think old fake Todd from One Life to Live, Trevor St. John, will be a good replacement for our Jason? Maybe they can bulk him up some. I don't know. We'll have to see. Jennifer Lundquist says, I have loathed Sam for years since they had her turn psycho with her moment of weakness from about the time she set out to seduce Rick. Oh, yeah from the time she set out to seduce rick did that crap with liz and her kids and seduced lucky shit i forgot she was with lucky i tried to like her but with her redemption arc and found her boring and hypocritical i finally started liking her again with dante okay jennifer so now you like her again now see i still don't like her i still find her boring but i tell you what i appreciate this comment because i forgot that she was messing around with lucky jeez is it anybody that she didn't mess with so she went with lucky now she's with which is the brother of lulu and now she's with lulu's ex-husband oh she gets around like the tupac song said on it well you know jennifer i'm glad that she redeems herself in your eyes i still find her hypocritical and boring but i really don't know what they can do for sam's storyline for me personally to make me even give a darn you know what goes on to be honest they can go ahead and get rid of her nina and sunny at this point and bring in the fresh new crew i'm kind of sick of the whole thing you know i'm just sick of the whole thing ready for something new and different vivian curry says chase should be with maxi it's funny that you said that vivian because during the peter august and maxi storyline they were trying the writers were trying to write in chase with maxi but for some reason it didn't work and they went a different direction i don't know if there's something that they'll revisit but i doubt it with them you know with this um brooklyn and chase thing but i always thought that would be a good storyline too but then they brought spinelli back and you know we would rather have her with spinelli Denise Waku says, even better, I think Jason will come home and get back with Carly or Drew and Carly and then Jason arrives back. Sonny seems to be wanting to leave General Hospital. Maybe, I think you mean Dex. Maybe Dex hired to kill him or bring him down from within General Hospital once and needs another death. They're good at that one for sure. Bothers me, but that's so. Okay, so you think Jason is going to come home and get back with Carly 
or you think Carly will be with Drew? I think if Jason does come back, because I don't think we're going to get our original Jason, but I think if we do get a Jason back, at, when he comes back, yeah, Carly will definitely be with Drew, and Jason will probably revisit his relationship with um, Britt. That's what I think will happen. I really do like the Carly-Drew dynamic together because the mob thing is dying down and we need some i don't want to lose carly so they need to find another storyline for her um kind of like how mac and felicia and all of them and anna they kind of like chilled out a little bit but they still were in the mix of nonsense i think that's what we're going to get with carly and drew just not as much so they're still going to be doing stuff like i said and it's coming i think tomorrow or monday i forgot what i said if it's not today or monday they're going to be at the quarter main picnic and they're going to get into some trouble a little adventure so um also what else did you say honey dex is hired uh oh you think dex is, has been hired to kill him or bring him down well we know that michael hired him to you know infiltrate the organization to bring him down but um i'm not sure do you so you mean you think he's working with someone else to um someone else other than michael to bring sunny down that would be interesting and shamira route says morgan should come back he's coming honey hold on just like the song he's coming wanda Ree says i keep hearing lulu is coming back where is she and dante and sam have been together since last year or this year i don't remember they've been together for a while now they have been together for about a year for about a year or so um lulu is coming back uh the very end of this summer into the fall sources are saying Lisa Wilde said they did do the drinking thing with Alexis then stabbing Dante and doing time for it. It is Cody Bell. I was wrong. Maybe it's Catherine that's Cody's mom. Carly and Olivia are best friends. Drew and Carly would be good. Carly ran Sonny's business while Sonny was playing in Nixon Falls together. Carly can do adventure. Carly can do adventure great. Yeah, so Carly will be fine. She's definitely going to rebuild her business alexis did i know i remember alexis had that good storyline where she stabbed dante they have given alexis like the cancer storyline she's done um, the alcoholism dawn of day saving her daughter so yeah she has had some good stories and um carly and drew are great together and i'm glad nancy dustin says hey y'all i'm pretty new to your channel i'm enjoying it very much i am nancy from the blue ridge mountains of western north carolina well welcome to the gen hens uh club nancy dunston you're from north carolina that's where my mom is from um welcome hon welcome welcome penny winston says there are two there are far too many loose ends and storylines on gh nobody can keep up we all need a scorecard to try and remember this and that but they keep bringing in new people while holly is still alive and lang languishing somewhere out in space it's frustrating um yeah i guess they're trying to bring in a mix of new and old people we still may see holly penny don't give up i have heard whispers that holly is supposed to be found with jason her and jason are supposed to be in the same place like i said i don't think we're going to get our original jason but we're going to get a jason and i do not know when <laughs> reesky says esme needs friends and i think joss is a uh, b well short <laughs> short of a better word for female dog and let's be honest ladies and someone like spencer used you humiliated you and bullied you and then the entire town is pro trina that is just wrong no one even wants to hear esme's side and again i think felicia can help esme and will probably bail her out of jail like she did tony oh yeah like she did tony family and felicia is all about her family and girls yes she's definitely all about family um joss can be a little bitchy i don't know if we can say that on youtube but we are all grown i guess and yes yeah, she can be something else can she and i agree esme has been wronged a lot i do feel bad for esme uh in certain aspects but she has to be held accountable and be responsible for her actions as well you know joss just read her good she just knew off the rip that she wasn't a nice girl and she just called her out on it trina trina is just sweet you know you can't help but to like trina if you got a problem with trina you just got a problem i don't know what else to say 
Um, but that's it for um the comments for today. We're gonna get um I'm gonna get with you guys again tomorrow. We're gonna do a recap from today's episode and read more comments. Thanks for listening to me, Jen Hens. Leave your comments and theories down below, and I'll get with you next time.